What's up everyone, welcome to Workshop Rebuild. I took a break off the John Deere 300, which I'm currently working on, and I'm gonna move on to this Kohler K532. This is rated at 19.9 horsepower. It came out of a John Deere 400 guard tractor. Um, the previous owner told me that it was smoking a whole bunch, so what he did, he just replaced the whole engine, and this is what I'm left with. I'm going to tear this down in today's video and see how the inside looks like, if it's uh, repairable. I'll have this up and running again very soon. If not, we'll just keep it as parts, so stick around. This engine is really dirty and grimy, that's why I just put on these rubber gloves. I will tear into this right away, but if you guys have any questions about the Kohler K532QS, which this engine is, please leave a comment down below. I will try to respond as soon as possible, and if you like the content you're seeing, please hit that like button down below, it helps this channel massively. So without further ado, let's dig into the video.
So it's the next day here and I finished up with the teardown on the Kohler K532. The engine block is in front of me and I have a whole bunch of internal engine parts laid out on the white table. I have another bench over there which is also full of parts and all the parts I took off are completely coated in grime and dirt so there's a whole bunch of cleaning ahead of me. In the meantime I'll share with you guys all the parts that are involved within this engine. So I'll start here on this table and I'll go over there afterwards. Once everything is cleaned up, I'll bring you back for an assembly video on this Kohler. I'll start off right away with the engine block. This is the main block. It is cast as one piece. We have a couple studs that are still showing. And the cylinders are in this area. The valves are over here. We have a whole bunch of grime right here. So I have a whole bunch of cleanup to do. This is the inside. We have a bearing on this side, which holds the crankshaft and a bearing up above, which is for the camshaft. I won't get too much into detail on the block since it's uh, still in great condition, but I have a whole bunch of cleaning to do. So I'll share that with you guys once it's done. We have a couple bolts over here. We have the valve covers. I have the pistons and con rods right in front of me. These pistons happen to be 30 over uh, right there. So I believe somebody already rebuilt this engine but it's weird that it's 30 over and the engine was uh, smoking for the previous owner. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do to this engine to make it function again. Right here, we have the camshaft gear or timing gear. This right here is the crankshaft gear. So these align this way and then you'd have to align them with the dots and that gives you your timing from crankshaft to camshaft. This is the camshaft, so we have the bearing, the bigger bearing, which is in the block on the top end. That rides on this surface of the camshaft. Then we have another camshaft, which is smaller on the opposite side. We have the lobes for the lifters, and one of them, I believe it's this one right here, or the one on the very end, should be for the fuel pump. That right there is the camshaft, and then we'll move on to the crankshaft. This right here is the crankshaft. The Journals look very good, so I'm going to just do a one over on those and some measuring later on. And I believe this crankshaft should be good, but we'll have to measure it to make sure. Moving on over here, we have the timing gear cover or timing cover, I suppose. So it consists of a plate and then an outer plate, which holds then our seal. Won't get into that too much because there's a lot of cleaning to do as well. This right here is the governor and at the same time we have a lobe in here for our points so this is combined i believe in the back end we have the governor and then up front we have our lobe for our points so that's some kind of combined unit right there this is a special plate this is only for a john deere k532 the plate uh, the original plate or one that's on the bolens is only about this big. Um, this holds our bearing for the crankshaft, but the John Deere 400 has this extra air inlet on the side. So this plate is a little bit special to a John Deere 400 garden tractor. Over here, we have our oil pan. We have our dipstick housing, which goes down into the pan. It's threaded in here. We have our oil pan. Um, that is our filter or inlet for the oil pump. And this right here is the starter mounting bracket, but it's combined in the housing. Right here we have a heat shield and as well as on the other side, I'd have to take this dipstick housing out first to remove this. But you guys can see there's a whole bunch of grime on there and that's a lot of cleanup. So this table is finished. So I'll take you guys to the other table. I'll start on this side. We have the flywheel housing and we have another plate which goes on the bottom. Uh, this is located on the bottom of the engine and our starter will peek through this hole right here. So that goes on the bottom. Up above, we have our points. I believe whoever rebuilt this engine before uh, added brand new points before uh, it started to smoke. They look... Uh, or this looks brand new, so I'm happy with that. We have our stator. Uh, this will need a, a big cleanup, but I believe that should be good as well. After a cleanup, we have our starter motor. 
whole bunch of cleanup. I will do a rebuild on the starter motor as well, just to freshen it up and to make it work the way it should. We have our oil filter adapter, nothing too serious there. We have some muffler brackets. I'm gonna have to replace one. The nut and the bolt or the stud broke off. Uh, that's all, that always happens with uh, muffler nuts or bolts because uh, there's heat involved and expansion and contraction. So they just basically seize together and then you have to break it to take it off. We have our two cylinder heads. There's a whole bunch of carbon buildup. So a bunch of cleanup over here and as well as on the other one. Hopefully we can resurrect both spark plugs, but we'll see. We have our uh, cylinder head bolts. We have our intake manifold. We have a whole bunch of baffles for the side. This is for the top. So that all needs to be cleaned. We have our oil pump. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of oil coming out. Gonna have to make sure that's good and or possibly rebuild it. Our flywheel up above. We have our condenser, voltage regulator, um, ignition coil. We have our carburetor, air filter, some brackets and the vacuum hose. And that's the anti-dieseling solenoid right there. That's all on this table. So once everything is cleaned, I'll bring you guys back.